All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time uh, and uh, doing it for real people just like you and just like me, thinking during the intro, talking about real hypocrisy in real time. Um, Dead and Company had this huge concert. Of course, you probably had to pay a lot of money to get in and to get down there in the pit, as they like to call it. You had to show your paperwork to do that. And if you don't have your paperwork, you will be led to another area. You will be brought to a special holding area, a viewing area. Actually, I'm sorry, not a holding area. I don't know why I'm saying holding area. It's another viewing area. I never thought in the United States of America we would see segregation based on what you decide to inject into your own body. This is mind-blowing stuff. It's absolutely crazy what's happening. Now, based on some of the data from like Massachusetts, especially because they were all in my old stomping grounds, Massachusetts, I got to say, I'm really happy I don't live there anymore. A lot of pressure, daily pressure, advertising, promotion to go and do the thing, right? So a lot of those folks aren't having very good outcomes. Same thing's happening over in Israel, where their entire country, I think, is run by Moderna or Pfizer. Basically, they made a huge deal with Benjamin Netanyahu, and um, laboratory experiments ensued, and you would think in a country like Israel, they would think twice about doing something like that. They didn't. They jumped in with both feet, as did the people who went to go see Dead and Company. Now, I'm a big fan of Dead and Company. I wouldn't go see them in concert. I did um, have my Grateful Dead experience during the um, Built to Last tour, I believe, is when I went to see the Grateful Dead. And uh, it's a cultural experience. It's not for everybody, um, but all walks of life attend these shows. And I got to say, uh, great musicianship. You got John Mayer playing guitar and singing. And of course, Bob Weir still around. Just absolutely amazing that he's still with us. And, you know, <laughs> vocally speaking, Bob never had the greatest voice. But uh, I don't hear any difference between, say, Bob from... 1970 something and Bob from right now. So um, good genes. Hopefully that will serve everybody well who attended the show. Um, people were packed together like sardines. Now it's interesting that in some circumstances, like if somebody in a band comes down with the thing after being fully thinged, okay, <laughs> after getting the thing twice, right, or injecting the thing twice, um, they cancel the show. They cancel the show. Now, you could show your QR code, but there are no temperature checks, right? I don't think there are temperature checks, right? People are like crammed together. So the whole six foot thing is completely out the window. By the way, Lollapalooza the same way. And we were told by the media, that, hey, Lollapalooza went off without a hitch. It was great because it was in Chicago and the mayor of Chicago thinks a certain way. Thus, we have to just say this was great. It won't be a super spreader event. So what's your problem? Lollapalooza, Journey was there, by the way. Uh, they sounded okay. Their vocalist, I think, struggling a bit, but we'll cover that in another video at another time. I think I actually already talked about that. But the Dead End Company, again, because of their political stance, um, all kinds of slack gets cut. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's bizarre because if you talk about Sturgis, people freak out. Uh, South Dakota, they're rogue, their governor's crazy. They did this last year too. And they couldn't really find, I mean, I know, they attribute cases and so forth to these events and they try to do all that tracing back to the event. And you know what? You don't know. You just, you don't know. And I'm actually 
thinking that this might not create a problem, but if it does create a problem, you probably won't hear about it because they're doing everything that the powers that be say you ought to do. It's crazy though, that your freedom to abstain from something, seriously. I mean, it's like the military draft. I mean, do I have to go? Yes, you have to go. Um, even the military draft, by the way, had exemptions, right? You know, you had a bum ankle or something, or you had some medical condition and people would say, well, you know, you're probably not going to be very good to uh, be in the military. So you get an exemption and, uh, you know, people will say that's draft dodging and so forth. Um, I'm of the belief that you should have the freedom to make your life choices. You shouldn't have a government telling you that you have to go on the front lines and possibly lose your life. And I would equate that to this situation because, you know, I don't know about you, but there is some information out there that would suggest that things aren't going perfectly well for all those folks who do the thing. All right. That's and, and I don't know if you can really argue that point. It's just that you're not hearing about it. And because you're not hearing about it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You have to go looking for it. And on this channel, when people will send me comments via Patreon, I will send them links. I will show them what I know on my end to try to illuminate people who have just been conditioned for the last 18 months to think this is your only recourse. So I think it's a little bit bizarre though, that the media will look at this as such an, just a successful event, Grateful Dead fans, they just lined up and they did what they were supposed to do. And if you didn't have the proper paperwork, you were sent to another viewing area. Very, very interesting stuff and very weird times that we're living in. Anyway, if you want to support this channel, please do so via Patreon, a dollar a month. That's all really I'm asking for. If you want to do two bucks or five bucks, you know, you got some stimulus money that you don't know what to do with, you want to invest into this channel, uh, feel free to. If you don't want to get like your taxes back this year from next year, and you want to share the love with me, then you can also go ahead and do that. Uh, subscribing to the channel is also helpful and putting uh, the videos on repeat play like in an endless loop, I think is helpful as well. But uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. Um, do what you think is best for you. I want to make that clear about my um, position on this. If you think you want to do the thing, then do the thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm telling you that I'm not sure the thing does any good, number one. And number two, I don't know. There might be a few side effects that we won't know about for a while. So just uh, think about that for a bit. All right, done with the video. Thanks again. Au revoir.